now that we have talked about what's possible, let's head over to the lab and see how we can send Microsoft Teams messages directly from Microsoft Power Automate. We are now in the lab environment. Let me open up the browser over here and let's create a brand new flow. And the goal will be to see how we can just send Teams messages to users. So we will just do an instant cloud flow. This way it's a lot easier to test. So I'll call it Teams message flow and let's just do a manually trigger a flow button. I will click on create. Now let's do a new step. So I'll go here, a new step, we'll add an action. Let me just search for Teams here. We will filter on the Teams connector. And then as you can see, we have quite a few options from Teams, from anywhere from add a member to a team, create a Teams meeting, create a chat, create a team, get the details from a specific message, get messages, so being able to look through multiple messages, even ask a choice of options as the flow bot to a user and many more. But let's start with a simple one. Let's simply search for message. And what we will do is we will do post a message in a chat or a channel. Now it will ask me, who do I want to post that? Either the flow bot, the user under which the connection runs or power virtual agents, which is in preview at the moment. But since this course is not about Power Virtual Agents, we will not really deep dive into Power Virtual Agents. There is a course in Pluralsight called Creating Power Virtual Agent Chatbox for Microsoft Teams if you want to learn more about Power Virtual Agents. But we'll really focus on the first two for now. Let me pick the flow bot here. We will take a look at what the experience looks like in Teams as we run it. And then we can either choose where do we want to post it, either in a channel, in a chat with the flow bot, or in a group chat. Let's go in a channel over here. And then it will show me all the different teams that I have access to. So let me take the book club over here. And now I need to select the channel, of course. Let me select the check in, check out. And here let's add a simple message. Hello, don't forget to check in, check out the books you get from our library. Let's actually go and just run it just like that so we can see the result. We will do something we haven't done before. Actually at the top right over here, you see we have a test button. I will click on it and this is super cool for instant flows, especially because you can just manually perform the starting action to trigger it. And in this case, it's just a button. So I can just click on continue here and run the flow. This will still run the flow. But what will happen is that if I go inside my flow, instead of showing succeeded, it actually differentiates that it's a test. So I see here test succeeded, not only flow succeeded. This way, when you look at the history, you can see the difference between your test and your production flows. Great, now if we open up Microsoft Teams here, you see we actually have a notification in the check-in, check-out channel. And you see we have Vlad Katrinescu via Power Automate. So it doesn't show up from me. It shows up from Vlad Katrinescu via the flow bot, which is Power Automate. And I have my message, hello, don't forget to check in, check out the books you get from the library. Now we can also take it to the next level. Let me go back to edit over here. I can add a new step and let's say we want to notify somebody, maybe their book return is late. Maybe you save the information to SharePoint. You have a scheduled flow that runs. And if we're past the due date, you want to tag them in a message. I can do a, let's go to teams here. First of all, select teams. And then I will search for mention. If we want to mention a user, the first thing we need to do is get the at mention token for a user. So let me select that here and let me get the token for Vanessa Lee at globomantics.org here. We'll see if it asks me to find the user. No. So we will leave it like that. Great. Now what I will do is I will do a new step again and let's do a chat. Again, I'll just go in teams here. Let's do a chat over here. 
and we will use the post a message in a chat or a channel. So let's go here, let's select this, post as the flow bot again, or I can post it as myself as well, but I usually prefer to do it with the flow bot, especially if this flow will be used by multiple people or it's an official flow. Maybe the user one makes more sense for more personal flows that only you use. Now what I will do is I will post it in a chat with the flow bot. So let me select it here. Then you gotta wait one or two seconds and then the options will appear. So depending on what you choose, you will have different options. So if I switch to channel here, it will take a few seconds and then the channel options should appear. Really important that you wait a few seconds here and it takes anywhere from one second to five or 10 seconds. So you have to be a bit patient. Okay, let's go back to the chat with the flow bot here. We will wait again. Come on, select chat with the flow bot for me. Let's wait, we will add the recipient. Let's search for Vanessa Lee at globomantics.org. And then oh, I forgot to select the user. Let's just go here. I always forget to do that sometimes and the flow fails. You see, we have the username that popped up. I will select it. So then I make sure it sends it to the right person. And now we can add our message and let's say here, hello. And I can take the mention token for the user and then I can see your book is late. Great, and if we want to test it in a channel as well, let me move the get mention above. So then I can also go in here and add the mention in the channel message as well. So I will click on save here. Let's wait for it to save. Let's run the test right away, run the flow, and now I will go in as Vanessa. So we see what happens. And as you can see, a lot of notifications. And if we go inside the notification, we see power, which is power automate mentioned you. And as you can see, it's an actual mention. So that user got mentioned directly. And in the chat here as well, I have, hello, Vanessa Lee, your book is late. So you can also do many other things. And I'll go back to my flow here. I can also create a chat, for example. So let's say one more demo here. Let's go to Teams here, Microsoft Teams. Let's go to chat, create a chat. And inside, let's add Vanessa Lee at globomantics.org again. And after that, let me just double check. We have to separate the users by semicolons. So let me also add John Smith in there. There we go. I copy pasted John Smith username in there. Now we can add a title and we can call it uh, book returns. And then I can add a message to that chat. Let's go in Microsoft Teams here again. I will search for chat, post a message in a chat or channel. Let me select that post as the user, let's see, or the flow bot. Let's do the flow bot. Now let's select a group chat over here. And then it will ask me what group chat do I want to select it to? I will enter a custom value and then I can get the conversation ID from the chat that I just created. And I will simply add a hello message over here just to make sure that it worked. So I will click on save and let's run this test again. I will test it manually, run the flow, done. Now, of course, Vanessa will get notified multiple times again, but I also have a brand new chat that got created called Book Returns. We can see the members inside are, and I'll click over here, John Smith, Vanessa, and Vlad. It automatically adds the user under which the connection is added in there. So that's why Vlad is in there. And I have the flow bot that said hello. So this is it for this quick demo in which we have really seen how we can send messages in Microsoft Teams by using Power Automate, we can mention users, we can send them to a team, we can send the messages to a channel in a team, to a private chat, or to a group chat. We can also create a group chat if needed. And while this was shown in a simple instant flow, you can really leverage those techniques in your 
approval workflows, in your maybe news notifications from your intranet when a new news got posted, you want to post a message in different teams, and more. Really, as more people spend time in teams, leveraging those functionality will really be appreciated by your users. And we're not done with Microsoft Teams features yet. Let's head back to the slides and learn about adaptive cards in Microsoft Teams.